Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. If you are new in here, so let me introduce myself first. My name is Joy James Costa and I'm a CART scholar and I'm studying my master's in biomedical engineering and medical physics at Technical University of Munich, Munich, Germany. Okay, so if you are not a subscriber, first do subscribe, then come here and watch the video. Okay, so what will be today's topic? Today's topic will be uh, something very important, very crucial and a mandatory thing for everyone who is basically coming inside Germany, that is the monthly cost of a student, I mean an international student who are basically new here in Germany. This this amount uh, might fluctuate a little bit it can be some plus can be some minus but more or less it will be an average amount okay so let's get started so uh, first thing first is your rent it means like house rent that is the major and the most biggest amount you have to invest from your monthly cost inside germany and what can be the rent okay first of all if you are having a student dorm for example me then it might cost you very very less for example uh, like i'm paying almost 311 euros per month with including every cost for example um, electric bill then uh, the kitchen utensils, I mean kitchen, uh, what I am basically using the stove and other stuffs. Uh, then um, I'm also paying for the um, Wi-Fi and uh, also it means like for your living each and everything will be there. Uh, water supply yeah, of course. So for living each and everything will be there and it will cost you around 310 euros. For me it's 311 euros. So I can basically, I can basically calculate it as a fixed amount of more or less 250 to 400 euros so why i'm saying it's 400 euros because like if you are not getting a student dorm then it might be very very high it can be also 400 plus for munich for berlin or for big cities like frankfurt as well so so it depends on your university area it means depends on your city but more or less it will cost you around 250 euros to 400 euros so minimum I, if i average it then i will give you an amount of 320 euros per month okay so second one second one will be your health insurance so it depends also um, on your company from where you are basically having your uh, health insurance so it also depends on your age if you are not uh, uh, aware of like what is the health insurance and like how can you get it a health insurance and this thing is mandatory for you so i have a video on it so you can go there and just get a clear view like what is a health insurance so the amount of health insurance is almost 109 212 euros so it's basically for the students who are basically below actually below 30 but if you are a 30 plus then it, this health insurance might be decreased as well if you are uh, using a private health insurance and if you are getting or trying to get a public health insurance and your age is 30 plus then it might cost you around 180 euros to 220 euros plus minus so yeah for this video i'm basically or i'm actually delivering it for the students who are basically uh, under 30 age you can get it i mean your health insurance uh, on an average uh, the cost will be 110 euros per month so 320 for your rent 110 for your health insurance okay now what comes next the thing is uh, it's your groceries, right? So what what are the prices of the groceries in Germany? I have a video on it though It was in my native language Bangla, but more or less you can have a glimpse of it like uh, Because like I wrote it like in that video like egg means deem I mean it means it, it is basically in my native language, but you can have a glimpse like what is the exact price of 
the groceries inside Germany. So for groceries, you will need almost, uh, for example, like 80 to 150 euros. So more or less, I can, um, I can, I can let it as 110 euros per month. So rent is gone. Number two, health insurance is gone. Number three, grocery is gone. Number four, that is the other cost. The other cost is more or less like 30 to 50 euros per month or 30 euros per month. So, and there is also some other, uh, so for others, in that other section, you will be basically investing your five to seven euros or five to 10 euros, 10 euros for your cell phone. I mean like for your cell phone, internet, for your cell phone, um, calling and other stuffs so that will be also included in that 30 euros okay and um, for transport right okay so there is a very very important thing that you have to know that most of the universities basically provide a student ticket including in their student id so for example for tomb i am allowed to travel at a certain distance i mean it's a very big certain circle distance um, it's, it's, and it's not free. Basically when you are basically, uh, giving a small amount of student contribution fee at the starting of your semester, that student contribution fee is basically is using, uh, basically is used for this transportation. I will also uh, give you another video, like what is the student union or student uh, contribution fee for the students inside Germany. But uh, more or less for transportation it is basically included in that student uh, student contribution fee so you don't have to um, you don't have to uh, what can i say give extra amounts for your transport uh, more or less for the public transport but um, if you are inside germany and if you are in munich so for munich for tomb for other universities they don't provide like the whole uh, time coverage that means like I am allowed to travel in the whole Munich city and outside of Munich like it's, a, it's not a big but not that small as well so it's kind of a on average a good amount of area where I can basically travel here and there with free of cost though it's not free of cost let it be a free of cost but the time is like in the weekends each and every time I can go here and there but in the weekdays that means like working days it is allowed for the for six uh, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. So in that period of time, I can basically travel with that student ID card. But if you want to get this working days free as well, I mean working days in a cheap in a cheap uh, price, then you have to cost or you have to spend at least 201 euros for six months. For six months 201 euros it means like 35 euros per month so uh, if I calculate it these are the these are the like these are the things in where basically you have to invest your money so now like if I calculated it for rent 320 for uh, health insurance 110 or 109 though 100 let, let it be 110 then uh, groceries uh, 100 or 110 whatever is it let me uh, let me have it here 100 and 100 euros okay and um, for transport uh, it's not needed uh, because like it's already is included in your semester ticket but if you want you can also calculate it calculate it and the last one is your others cost the miscellaneous cost and that is that will be around 20 to 30 euros so that is the whole package of your monthly amount so more or less for me it basically goes up to 520 to 550 euros per month in a whole i mean for the for everything everything 520 to 550 so basically where basically uh, where you can decrease your amount or save your money in that rent portion because like if you are trying to get some privacy you can have a whole zima that means whole single room then it will cost you really high if you are sharing with other people then you can also get a room of two people 
with investing more or less 170 200 euros per month so there you can also save almost 100 euros and for food uh, for example you can do it more or less within 80 euros per month and but the, for the health insurance this is fixed and for the miscellaneous i mean the other cost uh you can also save there like 10 to 15 euros so yeah so th these are the portions from where you can basically save some money as well so more or less it will cost you around 500 euros and for me it's 550 euros so now it's up to you if you are coming inside germany you will basically have some ideas about your surroundings and when you are basically in your home country then you will basically face like where is your university and what are the costs inside germany in that specific university area of yours so yeah that's the thing uh, for today's video uh, next video will be about like if you are a new student here then what will be the cost in your first month and the next video will be about if you are coming inside germany like what are the formalities you have to do if you are entering inside germany for example city registration so how you will do a city registration for example a bank account uh, you have to do an, a bank account do a bank account and open a bank account how you will basically open a bank account that will be also needed and um, that that will be also covered inside that video health insurance like how will you go there like what are the how will you do this that will be also included and i mean like from your entering to germany up to having that permanent i mean not permanent residence permit inside germany i will also cover it in, in the next in the next next video okay so hopefully you are liking it and if you are not a subscriber please do subscribe if you want to contact with me you can also go to facebook and you can search my page name that is called jj costas blog and there you can basically knock me or if you want you can also follow me in instagram i have also a linkedin account you can also go there and just follow me okay that's the thing uh, for today's video hopefully in the next video we'll be here with your all other friends so Please do share and do subscribe, do like, comment and share. So till the next video, be safe and put your masks on. Tada! Choose. Bye.